Today I will show you how to transform this image from summer scene to winter scene. So let's start. Hi guys, my name is Nemanja Sekulić and welcome to another fun tutorial. So let's change the weather in Photoshop. Let's jump straight into Photoshop and let's have fun. Alright guys, today we will play with this image and we will change this scene into a winter scene. So first what we need to do here is, look at me, look at me here. Alright, first what we need to do here is to make image. Des desaturate and make it brighter, especially highlights, make highlights even more bright. Right, how to do that? As anything in Photoshop you can do that in several different ways. You can duplicate this background layer with the Control command j like so and put it in the screen blending mode. And what you achieve with that? You make image a lot brighter, as you can see. You can do that, for example, by using a curves adjustment layer and make dark uh, brighter with this adjustment layer, etc, etc. Use exposure or levels or anything you want. I will use screen for now and I will leave these curves just in case if we need to make it even more bright. All right, and then the next step will be to make image black and white. Of course, we can do that in several different ways too. We can use a gradient map, you, we can use black and white uh, adjustment layer, etc, etc. Uh, for, for this, I will use maybe, let's use a gradient map because that's something that I don't use so often. Let's use black to white here, preset, and that's perfect, say okay, and now we have from this to black and white. That's really, really good. All right, but we need to bring back some colors here in the back because we don't want the black and white image. To do that, of course, we can paint on the mask here, but we will duplicate We will duplicate uh, this background layer again, Control command j put it at the top here and bring it to soft light blending mode. As you can see here, we bring some colors back in the scene. It's now like it's desaturated, but still there is some colors in the scene. All right. And you can, of course, change the opacity to make it more desaturated or make something like so. You can choose whatever you want. All right. And what I want to do here now in a gradient map, I want to uh, paint with the black to make her face, hat and hair more saturated. All right, let's use the brush here, which maybe we can use 100% opacity, really soft brush, and we can then change what we want. All right, we can paint like this. We don't need to be so precise here. We are using soft brush and we can always paint back with the white if we mess something up. But let's let's see something like so, and then we can go here, double click on this layer mask, and let's decrease the density. If we decrease all the way down, it's like we didn't do anything. But let's let's make something something like so for a start. All right. Then the next step will be to make these highlights even brighter. How to do that? Again, there are several different ways, but now I will show you one of them. Let's make a new layer and let's select only highlights. How to select only highlights? We will use the luminosity masks. If you are not familiar with that, please look at this um, tutorial of my how to use luminosity masks and you will uh, slow the mystery about that. But now I will quickly show you. If you want to load only highlights uh, from, uh, from an image, just go here to the channel tab and press and hold control or command key and just press press here on RGB channel. All right, and now what uh, we loaded this selection represents only highlights in the scene. Okay, and let's go to the levels here and make a mask. As you can see, if I hold Alter Option key and pre press on, uh, on this mask, I will reveal the mask and everything what is white, it's, you can see it through and everything what is black, it's masked. And as you can see, pretty much highlights are visible. All right, and let's use a white brush, maybe 50% opacity and make it a little bit bigger and 
paint to that layer like so as you can see we are only painting on highlights here if we i paint here nothing happens because it's shadow it's masked here all right and you can choose the amount of highlights you want to to add to the scene all right you can duplicate this if you want even more etc etc but i will leave it like this for now all right let me show you before and after before and after it's already nice the next step will be to add the snow to the scene how to add the snow we will first make a custom brush for that of course there are a lot of different ways how to make snow in photoshop but today i will show you a pretty easy method with uh, already brush that we have we will just tweak some brush settings and make a custom brush to paint the snow back in the scene all right let's make a new layer here let's first group this and and let's name it uh, i don't know winter look okay that's before that's after and this will be snow let's name it snow all right right click and i will choose for example this brush maybe 70 percent opacity or so it doesn't matter you can always change that it's white brush all right let's use here opacity 100 percent and go to the brush settings here okay or shortcut on the keyboard it's f5 for brush settings all right and what i want to do first is to make increase the spacing make it around 900 percent or so and go to the shape dynamics here let's bring the size jitter a little bit up like so then let's let me see roundness make a little bit as you can see change the roundness here and the angle a little bit like so All right let's go to the scattering here and scatter that a little bit and go to the transfer and make opacity jitter all the way up to 100 percent right let me see let's go here and reduce this touch like so maybe it's too much we will see we can always go back and see how how this um, brush looks okay go back to the shape dynamics just try experiment with play with this uh, controls here and you will have really fun and interesting results all right let me show you now if i paint with 100 percent opacity white color here and paint like so we have something like snow every brush stroke is different and let's paint few of these snowflakes here on the scene okay let me uh uncheck hide this uh, winter look just to see better the snow here you can uh, change these uh, snowflakes to add some fuzziness to the edges by going to the filter stylize and diffuse and if i zoom this here as you can see it's a lot fuzzier and if i put uh, normal it's okay and you can again try a few more times if you uh, press ctrl f on the keyboard you will repeat this effect again we can add fuzziness as much as we want and now we have fuzzy snowflakes but uh, in any case we will blur that and eventually it doesn't matter but let's leave it this for now if you need for some situation then this is the method how to add some fuzziness to the edges all right let's make another layer name it snow creatively number two <laughs> all right and use the same brush but a lot smaller like like so all right and just paint just paint over here like it's falling down falling down all right it's much easier with the tablet i'm using a vacuum tablet but vacuum tablet but you can do that with the mouse too but it's really really much easier with with this all right this is a smaller one we can press ctrl f just to add fuzziness a few times because we did it with the previous and let's make another snow you can guess number three okay maybe even smaller like so just to add some depth like this is snow much behind there okay 
etc etc you can even add a lot bigger snowflakes like snow number four so creatively like mambo number five but this is snow number four right and let's make it a lot bigger like like so like this will be in front of the lens here we will see all right and let's add some fuzziness but we actually don't need it okay let's now bring back our winter look here wow it's much better now and let's uncheck all snowflakes except the first one let's go to the filter blur and go to the motion blur let's add some motion here all right as you can see we have fuzziness it's really nice this diffuse effect around this uh, snowflakes but if we add more it's not so visible but it's okay all right let's add something around to change the angle like so maybe and something around i don't know 30 or so pixels that's nice then check the other one go to the filter again blur motion blur and let me see let's decrease this a little bit because they are smaller Okay, like so, they're more in the background and I will blur them even more with a Gaussian blur. Let me see, like... Like so. Let's leave it like so, just to make some mm, randomness in a blur. Alright, let's check this one too. Again, go to the filter. Blur. Blur. Yep, motion blur. And... That's... Okay, we can even change the direction just to add some randomness like so and maybe to blur it let's use box blur let's change this a little bit okay let me show you the box blur only one yeah one pixel it's okay and then the last one filter blur motion blur and Let's blur it. Oh, yeah, I need to be on the snow number four. And then go to the filter blur and, and motion, 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 motion blur. Like so. And let's add some motion here. Like so. It's nice. And we can even blur it a little bit more because it's closer to the lens. Let me see. Make something like, like, like so. I don't know. And we can even change the opacity if we want but that's the point we can now group all of this control command g and let's name snow yeah and we can add a layer here layer mask here change the brush use some normal brush let's use this soft brush and we can use maybe 50 percent opacity and paint out some snows snowflakes out of her face etc etc and that's really really nice let me show you before and after before and after all right we can merge everything together with shift Control alt e or shift command option e and let's go here to the filter and let's use a camera row filter just to add some color correction here just to touch let's add a little bit of bluish colder tint like so okay and we can maybe add some contrast if we want let me see or even decrease contrast because it's winter it's yeah we can even decrease contrast we can add some whites here as a vignette but just a touch and maybe add some blue blue color in the shadows just a touch let me see wow it's too much it's not so bad actually all right let me see great this is really really great guys let me show you like this in a split screen view okay but we need to uncheck this nice this is before and after as you can see here it's really really big difference we can uncheck this and play with like before and after before and after it's really nice 
Alright guys, that's it for today. I hope that you like this tutorial and that you understand everything what I did today. If you have any questions at all, please ask them in the comment below. I will be glad to answer them. Have fun, practice on your own images or download this image and practice with me here with this tutorial. Have fun, see you next week in the next episode. Bye bye. Hi guys, today I will show you how to transform any scene into...